everyone. Welcome to Toy Break, episode 216. I'm Eileen. I'm George. I'm Scott. You're Scott. Scott. <laughs> I'm not Ben. Toy Break is your weekly internet show featuring news and reviews all about the wonderful world of toys, including but not limited to designer vinyl, action figures, plush, collectibles, events, how-tos, all that random goodness that we can find in the toy world. Let us begin at the beginning by thanking our sponsors. That's what the third right. cup should have said. It should have said, not Ben. <laughs> we can still get that. <laughs> we can make that happen. Sorry, I didn't want to interrupt the whole monologue. No, it's so. good. Thank you. All Thank right. You. Sponsors. Superpower Collectibles. DKE Toys. Mr. Toast. Three Doctor Retro. Pay Saber. Grumpy Bert. Happy Panda Toys. Art Attack Toys. Button Lab. Dragatomi. Tenacious Toys. Fuzzy Ball Apparel. <laughs> That's Fuzzy Ball's Apparel. Those don't speak Scott. Or Scott. Go ahead. It's all you. Nope. Do it. ESC toy. ESC toy. More art than toy. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good, actually. All right, we have... Oh, we need to remind people. I don't know if... Have we ever even talked about the Amazon link? No, probably not. Do you know about the Amazon link? Yeah, it's an Amazon link on toybreak.com. Obviously. What does it do? <laughs> you click on it, and it takes you there. Where? And why would you want to do that? On the internet. I don't know. Uh, because you're probably going to buy stuff on Amazon anyway, right? I do. You buy stuff on Amazon, right? Is that a website? <laughs> it's yeah. an online it's shopping store. Okay, yes, I do. Uh, so when you go to Amazon, you're going to buy something. Instead of just typing in Amazon, go over to Toy Break, click on the link, you can and then go the to link. Amazon. You can also save the link. So can it's in you? bookmarks, yeah. All right. Just go click on the link. And then uh, go to Amazon through that link. Buy your product. And then every time you buy something, we get a little piece of it. Buy your Whoa. energy drinks and your uh, razors and your books. Right. And your toys. whatever you want, toys. Or whatever you're going to buy you on no, Amazon. No, go to toys. Go support a toy store when you buy your toys. Yeah, buy your toys from a toy store. But everything else you buy at Amazon, like your DVDs, and then we get a little piece of it. It doesn't cost more. It doesn't, yeah, like, no, they don't just, change the price or anything. They just knock a little back to Toy Break. Interesting. Hey, thank you. Yeah. And you're going to shop there anyway, so just click on our link. You're doing it anyway. Right? <laughs> uh, we still have the Battle Beast contest going. It's from Diamond Those Select. Battle Beasts? It is a beast who battles, <laughs> not a Battle Beast. Win this ex it is a Battle Beast, though. Win this exclusive <laughs> translucent red Battle Beast, Beast Who Battles, by going to the contest section mm. on the forum and post a picture of your favorite minifigure, any one that is your favorite. From any time period. From any time period. Did you just say the date? May something. 23rd. There you go. That's when it's due. Cool. Due like it's a paper. It's an essay. You have to write an essay. No essays. <laughs> uh, we have a couple donations to thank for. We need to thank James from Texas and Squire from Kentucky. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for your donations. Every dollar helps keep the lights on, the virtual tapes rolling. Keeps this heater that going that's in this studio right now. Well, yeah, because it's cold outside. Let's run this thing. Go, Because, baby, go. it's cold outside. Voicemail. It's getting hot Ooh, in here. Oh, we have a voicemail. <laughs> Let's see. We have a question. Is everybody ready? Oh, for a questions. Question? I'm laying down. Should I drink this first? Yes, please. Okay, I'm ready. Hey guys, uh, just wanted to ask a personal, not personal question, but just like, what are you guys collecting lately? Because you feature a lot of stuff. But uh, what are you guys in particular into right now as far as toys or art pieces or whatever? All right, peace out. I'm into these. Mm, those are pretty cool. I've seen those before. <laughs> Just totally right. it. So the question was, what? What are we collecting? What are we? Collecting? What are we into? Wow. It's a hard question, right? Yeah, because I'm into so much stuff. Like. Porn. Porn toys. Porn toys. <laughs> porn cereal. Porn. I don't even know what that would be. <laughs> porn porn. I guess. Porn corn. Um, corn porn. The, the yeah. yeah. He-Man Classics, Master Universe Classics, yes. that's a current that's, collection. Yeah, you've all, you've been in that for years, though. Yeah, but it's current still. It's and still you happening still every collect, month. Gl you collect Glyos every drop. I collect Glyos. I don't like the word drop, I know. but I collect Glyos every but time they release. I wanted to release. sneak it in there. <laughs> every release. Every I like I to sneak them. it in. <laughs> um, I'm trying to think of what I bought recently. That I'm kind of, I don't know, Lego? Um, I don't, yeah, I'm with you on the You're on not Lego. really a Lego collector. Eh, not uh, so much. I mean, hmm. It's for kids. Um, a lot of it's different for minifigures. Yeah, the Lucky is. Ux. Yeah. Mini it's the stuff. 2012 year of the minifigure. A lot of minifigures. stuff occasionally. No. Yeah. 
I buy anything Evil Dead, pretty much. Yeah, I do too. I do we buy... have the same stuff. Mm -hmm. You buy more robots. Ro I buy robots and ribbits. <laughs> Me stuff, I collect his little anomalies. Yeah. Yes. Production yes. ones, those are cool. I don't know. Whatever. I, I collect whatever I like to look at. Yeah, that's the thing is, I don't think but any usually, of Usually, I don't, I don't, I collect things that I don't that like. That you don't like? Yeah, that's my... It's better, because then you can just put them in boxes and don't care about them. That's true, you don't care if, like, yeah. your house burns down and... I have a yeah, small like, robot yeah, collection, like I guess. Are they small robots, or both. a small I, amount of them? Both. I think my problem, and you guys can probably agree with this too, is I don't, I'm not fixated on one certain thing, and I just collect We'd love that. you to be. Hey, you know... At any point in the day. You, <laughs> It's like I'm the same thing. Like I like I have like collections of things, and then like I'll move, you know, move away from that and start collecting this, and then come back to that, and like mm -hmm. like it's just all over the place. Yeah, I collect everything. Yeah. I do so everything is the answer. It's hard. It just, just collect. What was his name? Like. Did he say there his name? There was no name. No name. Hey guy. No name. We collect a lot of stuff. Pretty much everything Why you see on the show is something that we buy to collect. Unless Ben brings it over. <laughs> Unless Ben brought it, and then we don't like it, but Ben does. All right, let's get into the news. <laughs> We had an interview recently. We did. On Moderately Geeky. You can go check out, and by we I mean George and I, about October Toys and a little bit about Toy Break. Uh, you can check out that interview on episode 5 of this new audio podcast. Uh, you can find it at moderatelygeeky.com. Cool. So if you, didn't, if you can't just get enough of us, if listening to this right now is not enough of us, go to Moderately Geeky. I, I, there, I have an interview too. You do? That's, uh, you can go, I'm at extremelygeeky.com. <laughs> so. We should start Extremely Geeky. That's kind of mean, We're though. only moderately geeky. <laughs> um, how about a KV giveaway? How about it? To celebrate KV's second birthday, they're giving away a one-of-a-kind purple polka dot KV pillow. Cute. To enter, sim so the KV pillow is like this one. So it's that big, but purple polka dot. Uh, to enter, simply create a birthday message for KV. This could be a photograph, painting, drawing, computer artwork, card, or sculpture. Anything you like and email it to holly at heykv.com by June 26th. Check out heykv.com for complete details. I gotta do that. I wanna do, I want a KV thing. Well then, make something. When's thing. the date? June? No, you can't. You're, um, I bet you wish you booked. had read the first yeah. thing because that was long. I'm kind of booked. June 26th? Wait, what? You could do something by then. We'll see. Do a sketch. No, I gotta do a sculpture of KV. But oh. you're, you, since you're like, you're like part of the, like, people that can't. I'm part of the people that can't? They Thanks. Can't, <laughs> they can't do entries, <laughs> right? I think he just called it retarded. Because I'm, because we, spo we said, he talked about it? Yeah. Because like, we know That's part of our KV family. Like, you don't get to. We've never. That's oh. not fair. I guess there was a toy break KV. Yeah. That doesn't Void. mean. Void. <laughs> she doesn't say anything about eh. void. All right, I'll enter it Next on the false name. Next answer on the board. I'll enter it on the false under name. Under a family name or something. Scott. All right. Scott. Oh, is this me? Radioactive raspberry ice cream, ice cream man by Brotherford. <laughs> this clutter exclusive 5.5 inches sparkly glow in the dark ice cream man features a flat bottom comb and is limited to 25 pieces, $100, cluttermagazine.com. Or a flat bottom cone. What did I say? Comb. Comb. Well, you do both. not get a comb. <laughs> flat bottom comb. I would like a sparkly glow. Did, I, glow did I really say comb? Say comb. Why would it I sounded say comb? like you did. We'll have to go back and check the tape. We'll check the tape. <laughs> Just write an N when comb. So we talked about the Brotherford Ice Scream, ice scream Man before. So you did it too. But this it's hard. It is, because it says ice scream. Is this the ice so cream... Like, no ice oh, cone, or is, it's not the one with the full body that I saw somewhere online. I didn't see a full body. It's I've seen a full just body. Just the cone, the, it, but the it's head. a flat cone, okay. not the pointy cone. Okay. And it's glow in the dark and sparkly. Cool. Say ice scream. Ice scream. That's how you're supposed to say it. Now you say it. Say ice road truckers. <laughs> no, just go. Say I mean, ice pirates. How about Frankenstein by same, Mezco? I'm moving same on. Mo mollusks, <laughs> flasks, discs. What? <laughs> mollusks. Frankenstein by Mezco. This 18-inch scale Frankenstein features eight points of articulation, available late 2012. Watch MezcoToys.com. What scale is that? 18-inch monster scale. 
they're creating, they're calling it Monster Scale. It's a thing. Oh. They're making like a line called Monster Scale. Ooh. Oh. Have you seen this? Yeah, it looks awesome. I think I've seen this too. Did you have any other news, Scott? Anything coming out? Anything exciting going on in the world of scat? Is this where I show things? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> well, okay. that's what you want to show. No, I have no idea what you're Are you going to unzip your pants? <laughs> Whoa. This is a family show. Uh, Reviews. Things to do. Blind box. Is when you talk about that stuff. Oh. Well, then um, let's have blind box. Do you guys know what time it is? Blind box time! <laughs> Domo! You like how, like, when there's another artist on, we, like, we talk to the artists and stuff, but and I, I'm just when Scott's whatever, on, yeah. You're a regular well, host. Well, actually, do you want to talk about something? Do I have anything going on? Um, Save yes. it for reviews. Tough luck. They have to wait. You had your chance. I asked you, <laughs> well, and you bitched about it. I didn't bitch. I have stuff Which one do you on. want before you get in there? <laughs> Don't you forget how to do this already? <laughs> I was talking to Scott. I want the, um, put a bird on it. One of 60. That's pretty Ooh. good. Ooh. I want this little splatty guy, one of 15. I'll take the one above that, which is the Mexican wrestler one. All right. What's the one with the cassette tape? It's just a cassette tape on his mouth? Oh, and he's got oh, headphones Oh, he's got on. headphones. Okay, I get it. What is the I... one next to it? Is it a waffle? <laughs> I hope so. Oh, with a pat of butter as a waffle. mouth? It, it is, is it? Kinda. It looks like a waffle. Oh. There, they're you got the they're clear. One. They're not. They're not blind box. Ooh, oh. lightning strikes. Oh, that's fine. We got the same one. Uh. Oh. I, whoa! This is one of 120. Wow. I'm not going to open it because you're going to sell it on eBay. One I don't think anyone wants it. Are there any it, Domo dude. collectors out there? Crack, crack it, buy some Domos. Does he? But he doesn't, like, he wouldn't care about, like, oh, it's a hundred. Alright, I'm going to leave this one and just. Cause... Should I open this one? You can open that one, yeah. This is just going to go on that shelf behind you full of keys. Does this count hey, as wait. Key, look what I have. Oh! Thanks, Aunt Terry. Edge. Use the Don't edge. Don't need it. Do I look like a wild animal trying to get uh, What series is this? Six? Four. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> um, mine looks like a rainbow tiger. You have a rainbow and I have lightning together. It's weather. I have nothing to say about this. Yeah, Domo key. People know what they are. Um, it's like these things, but it's Domo. Yeah, this I don't know what to say. That's what? enough. We can move on. It's okay. You don't have to say anything. It's just a blind box opening. It's not a review. It's more fun! Oh, All right. Speaking, speaking of reviews. Okay, so we have an update with the ET. Last week, was it last week? We need like a guy like boo 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 update. We opened the <laughs> night. Wait, which one? No, dress up dress ET up. last week, and it was just like the regular ET. I was like Ben, if you have one of the regular ET, I'd like one. And I don't know if you remember, he talked about it having an extendable neck. I remember. So in the package, they put this little sticker over here. Features the extendable neck. Interchangeable neck. Right. Okay. Now, basically, I think that sticker's there because when you take it out of the package. And look at that extendable neck. <laughs> that looks wrong. <laughs> it's the best thing. Ever. What? <laughs> Scott had not show, seen show that this before on, now. Show it to the camera too. <laughs> I don't know if you can even that, see it on there. But that is just—it's weird. It, it's it weird. Basically, looks like an ET ness member <laughs> ness. Looks like a extendable ET. <laughs> <laughs> Extendable ET. I mean, it's seriously when you even when you take it out, it's got like the little it's just weird. palm tip and like it's kind of it's kind of a little foul. That's like worse than a booger in your water. Nothing is worse than that. That was terrible. So I just think it's pretty funny that they conveniently placed that, that sticker. Weird? I like how it's got all the wrinkles on it too. <laughs> how does and it look, look when it's in the pack? And look at how it looks like a t total bell end right there. <laughs> like, <laughs> doesn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's terrible packaging for so, what would be a funny piece. So, I mean, as you mentioned, you think it had... Look at the like... They thought of it later like, and put the sticker over no, it? No, that's it's the it's worst. terrible. Yeah, I think that they probably saw that it looked kind of foul. Oh. Wait, are, they, are these at Toys R Us now? Is that um, where this was acquired? Or was it, did uh, Ben have this at his bought office? A case, bought a case of those. Yeah, I oh, okay. think he ordered it from Diamond. Got it. 
It's not even that much longer than the regular neck. That's what she said. Do you really need that, though? No. The, oh. the holy tea, or... No, this is the neck. Like, no. Oh. You don't need this. This should not even have been sculpted. <laughs> That's what it was. It was like, here, do you want the long neck and here? And I got the other one, and they're like, just put them both in. <laughs> I don't care. No one's going to buy this. No one's going to buy this. All right, so that's the ET update. All right. I got to see this thing. It's, it's cool without you play with the, that. It's cool without the thing. Do we need ET figures now? No. Yes. <laughs> we need. We do need Star uh, Wars Muppets by exciting. Disney. Ah. So we have talked about these before. Well, we just mentioned that they were coming, right? But we talked about the first series. Oh, I get well, no, because we talked about the little PVC version. Yeah, there's, this is different. This is different than the ones we talked about. So, so let me open them as you start to talk. I will tell you about the different kinds of puppets that they have. There is Beaker as C-3PO, Dr. Bunsen Honeydew as R2-D2, Link Hogthrob as Han Solo, Fozzie the Bear as Chewbacca, uh, Sam the Eagle as Obi-Wan Kenobi, Gonzo as Darth Vader with his chicken Car Camilla serving as a stormtrooper. Serving chicken? Well, oh, oh, I forgot. And Kermit and as Luke Skywalker and Miss Piggy as Princess Leia. So, awkward. Why does we like E.T.? He's so gross looking. Like, he's not <laughs> cute or anything. You know he's what like I mean? He's like an old man. Yeah, and like... Like an old man torso? Old man butt? That movie would never get made now. Like, E.T. gets drunk. Like, they would never do that nowadays. Does, uh... They used like slurs or something, or, or like racial slurs. No, I think it was like a. What was it? Elliot said something that was like. Elliot. That they wouldn't say in a movie. Now. I can't remember what it was. But it's like, Penis Whoa. breath. Yeah, maybe that was like, it. Did he say yeah. that? Yeah. That explains the neck. <laughs> penis penis neck. breath, not penis neck. But look, he's not cute. No, he's not. So these are actual action figures. As opposed to actual figures, as opposed to the little oh, like the static solid, PVC. Yeah, that they they did have those too. Yes. You already bought these, or did you buy these? I got the uh, Bunsen Honeydew set. You want to open that one? That's the one Pretty I got. Well. The one that I'm kind of. Get me down. Oh man, these freaking little rubber bands from Hasbro. Here. I'm sorry, from Disney. No, this one the Fuzzy didn't even have any. Crazy. Look at how awesome it is to finally have Gonzo as Darth Vader. Finally. How long have you been waiting? This was on the Muppet Show. Like, come on. Yeah, but how long have you been waiting? Since 1978. You know what? These are done well, too. I mean, <laughs> at least they are. Look at how cool that is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's really funny. Look at those little pig nose. So this is cool, having actual action figures. I never like, the only problem I have, okay, so far, with Link Hogthrob, I don't like uh, rubbery PVC clothing. Okay, <laughs> that's awesome. tell me that's not weird. Isn't what, that weird? What do you mean? Is that weird to have Camilla as a stormtrooper? No, she's already white. It looks funny. All they did was put a hollowed out stormtrooper helmet kind of on her. Look, it even fits her face. Oh, it does have a chicken it's made face to in there. Oh, fit wow. in there. You know what I noticed? The one thing I did notice with all these is the white has like a pink tint to it. It does look like does that, it? huh? Yeah, especially on Bunsen and Honeydew. Like, I even I, on that, yeah. yeah. It does definitely. I, it's just so bizarre. Weird. I wonder why that happened. Her dress does too a little bit. Yeah, it's got like a pink. So I don't like the plastic clothing because this just deteriorates and attracts yeah. dust and gets gross. So like I just want a little piece of fabric clothing or just his pants and everything are mold like sculpted on. Why can't why can't that just be sculpted? Yeah, it does seem like this is gonna break down at some point. Wait, I have one of those uh, dress up. Do you remember those dress up dolls they did at Disney? A long it was a while ago, a couple years ago. Oh yeah. Like it's a little doll. Mm -hmm. Comes with all the different outfits. I got the Princess Leia. Mm -hmm. That thing's just falling apart. Really? Yeah, I mean. Oh, his glasses come off and he's got no mm -hmm. face. It's awesome. Ha! Cute. Let go. Lots of articulation. I mean, considering what they are. 
Wait, oh, his feet are not. Never mind. Not as much as I thought. Spoke too soon. Yeah, the Kermit, like, this is... The fabric part on this, you can tell is it's not going to last. What yeah. is the fabric? No, no it's, but it, it's the... Oh, it's, it's plastic, that, but, yeah. like, it yeah. feels like it's going to break down. Oh. It's a what? sad lightsaber. Oh. It's okay, I hear everybody has that problem with their lightsaber now and then. Look at how pink that looks. Yeah, it's really weird. Isn't that weird? Why did they make part of it PVC and then like a floppy lightsaber? What's up with that? What's up with that? I'm yeah. I'm not a huge fan of alternate heads, and so far there's two. Except alternate every heads. time there's a figure with an alternate head, you buy you two of, of them so that you can display necks? them with both heads. Can I see the? Yeah. yeah. That one's cool. How many do you need? Feel this. This is gross. That's fine. It's not that cheap for the plastic. It's not like that real cheap stuff that like falls apart. Uh, yeah, it is. is. That like. What do I have? Oh, I have plastic. Waka waka. Look at how cool did that is. Did you see what I did there? <laughs> These are awesome. <laughs> Thank you, Scott. Thank you for laughing. I'm not paying attention. Does he come with a gun? Where's his gun? It's. Oh. No. Oh, yes. Never mind. I like that he has a chicken, a rubber chicken in his bag, but you can't take it out. Rubber chicken in his bag. Fun accessory. Not even accessory. Fun uh, Look detail. at the size of the holster and the gun. <laughs> <laughs> Incorrect. That's, that's really weird. <laughs> Incorrect. That makes them no sense. How much are these? Um, I don't remember. They were like 10. Wait. It's on the back. 20 bucks a pack. So it's 10, ten bucks, bucks figure. per figure. Or if you know someone, but they're cheaper. <laughs> the, I mean, basically, that's not outrageous for the, like, 10 bucks for a figure. No, I mean, it's not crazy. This is bigger than G.I. Joe. G.I. Joe's are 10 bucks. That's true. So it's not really outrageous for the price. Is it truly, truly outrageous? No. Oh, he's got a bowcaster. Look at how cool these are. They have accessories, too. They're great. Do you have a favorite here, Scott? Um, individually, yeah. I like the Gonzo Darth Vader. Yeah, I think he's the best. But as a set, um, like I said, I got the Honeydew and uh, Beaker set because I like them It's a good together. cast. It's a good casting, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, this one's weird. No, do not put in mouth. Foot in mouth? Do not put it in mouth, foot. These are cute. Uh, There's not much more to say. You can pick them up at the... Disney parks or probably at Disney store online, I would assume. Yeah, I think, yeah, I don't know if they're online, but yeah, there's uh, either park. Everything Disney makes Do the Disney eventually. stores in the mall carry them if they have those I don't still? think they are. I think oh. they're Disney park exclusive. Oh, I didn't know that opens for reals. That's pretty cool. I didn't even That's know that. That's cute. Look, you can look at his chin. I opened the door on Scott's when I played with it. <laughs> That's fun. Beep bop -boop. That's not really the noise This is the best. Gonzo Vader. All right. All right, we can move on. These are great. Next up, you can hear someone other than us talk. Yay! We have a guest review by Eat More Toys. Yay! Hello, everyone. I am Eat More Toys, and today I'm reviewing B-Roll the Clown by Chauskowski's, produced by Kid Robot. Here we see his art. That is the clown himself. B-Roll the Clown. Once a star, now a lowbrow entertainer. Lowbrow is good for the soul. Yes, it is. We see him side view saying thank you. We see his logo, his blog, and his Twitter. So please get in touch with him if you need a custom or you want to buy any of his work. Design with love. Yes, it is. And again, we see his logo for the last time. I've already opened it, and here he is. Biro the Clown. Yip, da, 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 da. As you can tell, the head is much larger. I believe it is a whole different head, but it is keeping in mind the dunny ears and the body. So he came with one accessory. It is a little clear green bottle with a clown on the cover, and well, a dead clown, and crossbones. So let's look at the design, articulation of the head and the hands, as usual. 
and he has sculpted eyebrows, lips, tooth, ears, and the hat. So this is Chowskowski's first mass-produced toy, and it is massive. It is so sweet. He is an artist, designer, customizer, and this thing is just amazing. I always wanted one. Now I can finally have the pleasure of saying I own one. This was $15. Pick it up. Support artists all over the world so we can see more of geniuses come out like this. Go get it. This is it. Here, have some have some booze. It's only 9 o'clock in the morning, so it's just right. It's happy hour somewhere in the world. Yes, Chowskowski's in the house. I said Chowskowski's in the house and Beer the Clown too. There you go. And we're back. Did anybody see a toy? Wow. Because all I saw was nipples. Oh, was it <laughs> nipples? I didn't see his nipples. Really? I didn't look. Why not? Oh, I gotta rewind. Oh, yeah. <laughs> rewind it and look at his nipples. No, no, no. It's fun. It's fun. Thank uh, you so much. Thank you so much, Emore Toys, uh, for sending us that review. That's and messed up. You called out nipples. nipples. No, it's funny because like just it happened to be the camera angle. Oh, okay. Because like, was yeah. I did. I just saw it was a lot of camera shake from banging on the table. That's funny, but okay. he's one of the only people that ever sends in reviews. So if you want to send in a review, and we can make fun of your nipples, we want you send it in. And your nipples. Or if you just want, we, we'll, we'll review your nipples. Uh, info at toybreak.com, oh. and you can either post it on YouTube and send us a link, or you can just send us the video if it's small enough. But make it a good quality video. Yes, please. Cool, and don't put music in it. Yes, please. Preferably. Unless you use pod safe music. Just don't put music in it. It's easier. Cool. All right, now let's review. review. Our final thing. This has been at in... the bottom of the toy break trove for a while. Long time. It's coming Sticker out. Sticker Graphics 2. Do you love stickers? Now, I this like thing stickers. was... I do, too. It's an art book. That's a book with stickers. And it's a DVD, which we did not oh. watch ahead of time. I watched the DVD. It's you full did? of silly little animations. You don't want to watch it. No? No. Oh. But you can if you want. I'm going to want to watch it. Okay. I'm going to want to watch it. Um, but it also comes with, besides the art book that Scott's looking at, it comes with a... A cool box? Cool packet of stickers. And patch is... It's a sticker patch. What's a sticker patch? It's you got a ask. sticker back on the back. Mr. A shows oh, you how to stick. Say? Pass me a pickle? Yeah. Oh, a pickle. And then just a tons of broccoli power... Sticker. That's really weird. Yeah, Stash. it's a peel back sticker. That's crazy. Here's but it's an those... embroidered patch. Here's a pickle. Pickle popper pipper. That one looks more like a hot dog, doesn't it? I think it's it a, is a hot dog. It's a hot asking dog asking, for, asking a for a pickle. Here, I'll pass you the pickle then. Thanks. So it's just a ton of different stickers. I'm sure that they're. I'm sure each one has probably something different. Ooh, gold it, and silver. Is this a? Uh, is this an Amer Like, is this an American book or is this an import? Because um, it has that. Let's look in the front. Yeah, I'll do that. There's by information myself. in books. I'll do that all by myself. <laughs> wow, so this is the second time they've done this. So, um, I looked for this online. I couldn't find this yeah. pink one. I did find the version. You could buy it used, but it was the yellow one. Have you seen that? That it came I in not. different colors? I didn't know that. I just thought Apparently I there's different this colors. This was in 2006. This has been sitting here for quite some time. So, it's probably sold out. Were you able to find it for sale? Yeah, but it's secondary market, like I said. Okay. Right. They heard me. I know, but I don't listen. So here's a What's little... New? This shows you what all the 54 artists are oh, in this cool. set. So you can find all 54 artists' stickers in here. So, Scott, you make... You're an artist. What? <laughs> <laughs> Thank um, you. You do all sorts of fun stuff, and I know you do a lot of graphic design and stickers and things. What do you think about this? Like, is this it's an interesting cool project? Yeah, I mean, I like books that have... Um, I, like books. I, like books. I like books that have like different artists or different like just this just crammed with graphics in there you can pull them out for like inspiration or whatever and Ooh, I like books like that book with typography has, that's fun. yeah this book has a lot of different graphics in it and would you pull this out styles three 
Uh, yeah, I noticed Would some artists in here. Um, I think I saw some Jeremyville stuff in there. Um, yeah, right there, some Jeremyville. I missed it. Right there. And some other artists I recognize. It's cool. It's ish, a little book. It's a cool book. I do like what you're saying, though. Like, I, these books are fun for inspiration, or you're just hanging out. And yeah, there's like a... Uh, need to a, recharge. Is it picto, Pictoplasma that does um, a lot of books like this, like character design that are just like filled with artists characters and stuff and they're fun to look at you should do a toy break book like this and it's just pictures from every episode of us sitting on the couch no with just people. just ben in the book. just ben yeah in different poses and one would sell this thing's 50 bucks on the secondary market i don't know how much it was new well look at that packaging that's crazy in 2006 prices now it's 50 bucks it comes with a dvd and a book and stickers and a plastic and a weird case. box like a crazy that's why I, that's why i was asking is it like it looks like it's Okay. Some funky foreign. So this is. It's got a drawer. Mad Barbarians. Crazy. Is that funny? Yeah. It's cool. Mr. A. Yeah, it's interesting. I don't know. So this is something interesting. Keep an eye out for things like this. That's cool. There's a little profile of each of the artists in the back. Mr. A. Shows you wh where they're from. Is this the Hickey font? No, does does Mr. A know Doctor A? Is what I want to know. <laughs> Maybe they're the same. <gasps> maybe dun, he was. Dun, maybe dun. he used to be Mr. A, and then he got his degree. <laughs> so Scott, what do you have going on? Yeah. Um, Making some stickers. Uh, actually, what's funny is I um did make a sticker today. <laughs> did you know that? No. Oh. I was just laughing weirdly. Well, what's funny is under the events section, what's going to be talked about next is who I made the sticker for. Really? Yeah. So isn't that weird how that works out? I was expecting you to say, oh yeah, I forgot about that show. Uh, the, the show? Yeah. Well, to be honest with you, um, I haven't done anything for it yet. <laughs> and it's coming up really soon. Are you guys in that show? No. Don't know anything about it. Are, so wait. We were are we going to talk about this show or are we going to talk about stuff that you, you're doing right now? Wait, should we should talk. Should we events real quick? And then go on to Scott? Sure. They came from the streets too. Urban Vinyl Daily and Unheard Of have teamed up again to bring you another custom money show in Cincinnati, June 1st and 2nd. You can check out UrbanVinylDaily.com and hear more about it from this guy right oh, here. Oh, that's right why now. we're not in it. Our first ones didn't sell. <laughs> Do you, did you get them back? Uh, we donated, we them, donated them to them. charity. Oh, okay. I did a Big Bird because who's more from the street than Big Bird? Uh, Sesame Street. I think the Grouch is more from the street. I didn't know about this art from the street thing. They came from the street. I didn't know about the name until after I was already done with mine. Is that true? I don't. Yeah. Think, but you know what? Do you never think no about one, a custom? No, because it comes you through it? you. Like information doesn't come to me usually. But I don't. So I didn't know. My guy doesn't. I mean, I don't think the street is necessarily like. The theme for it. I mean, I think you can do whatever you want. Isn't it they called They Came From The Streets, too? Yeah, but I have no idea what that is. <laughs> like, what came from the streets? Like They. They. Like, your custom? Can you see the movie They? But is, <laughs> they live. Is your custom supposed to be like... Mine was Golem. It didn't, didn't do anything from a street. It <laughs> did not come from the Mine streets. Mine was not from a street at all. It came from a cave. Um, in Hobbit I, I, I just did what I wanted for the show. Okay. Like I don't know if it necess I don't know if he came from the streets. I mean, he does maybe, what he wants. Maybe someone threw him in the streets. <laughs> like you can make up a story for it. I guess. Um, okay, so you what are you talking about? A sticker? What's the sticker about? Uh, yeah. The sticker was for um, Urban Vinyl Daily. Nice. As I, I mean, I don't know what they're doing with it, but but you made it. So be on the lookout for that. I just checked off the list <laughs> <laughs> of the the pile. So. Yeah, I just turned that. I just sent that to them today. So, Fabulous. so do you have anything going on you'd like to talk about no, besides that? No, I'm just that? gonna sit here. Okay. No, I do have stuff going on. Um, I'm making more of these things. Ugh, more? Uh, there are more coming out. Um, uh, let's see. We're looking at a Comic Con release Yay. for the fourth one, and then the fifth one will be uh, available in October ish. I know what one of them is. But th I'm really excited about the next one because there's kind of a little story behind it. But um, Do you want to come back and tell us the story in your comic Yeah, I'll, I'll leave it a mystery. 
for now. Um, but people can follow you on Instagram and see little sneaks. They can. That you've been posting. They can. And I'm, I'm in love with Instagram. So if you want to know what's going on with me, follow me on Instagram because it's my. It's I don't really do Facebook, uh, Twitter. I do occasionally, but yeah, I like to hang out on the on you the do Instagram. Like Instagram. It's great stuff. The Instagram. Um, so plush. Um, you made a new person. Yes, I did. That's true. Congratulations, <laughs> Congratulations. to in front there's of everyone. A, there's another uh, member of the Tollison clan uh, squatting at our house now. Um, <laughs> so now I got two girls. Congratulations. Trying to get used to that whole uh, setup. Being outnumbered. Yeah, it's been two weeks, almost three weeks now since she was born. So. Well, congratulations to King you of the and Castle. <laughs> Thank you. Um, Until they're about thirteen. I know they're gonna break my heart someday. No, they're just gonna <laughs> kick you out. <laughs> yeah, that too. But um, so yeah, so that happened. It was nice to get a couple weeks off and while she was born and bond with the family. Hang out with the kids. Yeah, but now I'm back at the work thing. So what else? Um, I don't know. What else I, are you doing? There's stuff. I, I mean, there, nothing else to quite announce right now. But can uh, you bring a, a little figure? Are, well, are you going to talk about what it's from first? You can bring, bring it, it out. out Show it. Oh, cripes, it's hot in here. Uh, <laughs> so, um, the faster you talk about it, the less hot it will be. Okay, so there's uh, Squid Kids, Inc., which is a company that... I know those guys. Yeah, right? They make toys, like all of us, and uh, they have a product out called Tendo, and uh, they just really, or they just put it out on the interwebs uh, yesterday or the day before that they're going to be doing a blind box series of their Tendo figure, which is uh, basically like a shrunk down version of the ones that they've already came out with. And uh, it, yeah, it's a blind box series. Which is an NES cartridge with hands and legs. Yes. And um, I don't know what their website is, but it's right here. SquidKidsInc.com. Squid yeah. And uh, so there's, tw there's 12 artists in the series. Um, I happen to be one of them. And um, I just got a sample sent to me uh, two days ago. Um, we could see it live is it allowed, in person? Is it allowed to be shown off? It is allowed. I asked Nathan today, and he said, go ahead and okay. go for it. So it's a really cool figure. So can we see it? Thank you. Well, I, I'd, I'd What's like to next? see it. Can we see the figure? Wow. <laughs> um, Okay, so here it is. Cute. Oh my god, it's adorable. Look at how cute it is. Um, the cool thing about it, or I mean, there's obviously a lot of cool things about it, but I like that um, it's a blind box, but it seems bigger than your typical blind box figure, and it. Yeah, totally. Yeah, but it's also flat, so like, like if you don't have a lot of space, you can get all of them and just kind of like line them up a little yeah i mean up. that'll fit easily on a yeah. little shelf like that yeah it's where not gonna some have to go. big crazy That's where gonna have to go? crazy bulky thing look at how cute that is little um who knew a nintendo cartridge would look so adorable tiny so and we were talking about this oh we were talking about this earlier um we both kind of like the smaller version better i do than the larger i i like this one way better than the big one i, I don't mind the big ones but this one there's something about it yeah it's it's really fun and tight okay, and like cute it is. I don't know. It's like, cool. The big one's cool, but to have like a ton of them on your shelf, it would be hard. Yeah. It'd be cool to pick your favorite big one and then just get all the little ones and just surround them with it. Oh yeah, like like the Monster King. Yeah. But I've seen you know I've seen the other designs and um, I mean it's really it's a good it's a good lineup like yeah. everyone right, everyone I mean everyone kind of did their thing but it all works so cool. together like. <laughs> That's not really what it's for, but... Um, but there it is. Look at how cool that is. But um, I think the release date on these is... Uh, I think he's trying to... I think they're dropping. Dropping? Dropping. At Comic-Con. I believe that is correct. You know what? I bet we could verify that with him in person soon. <laughs> That's so cool. They're just. They're I mean, it's a, it's a complete mini version of the uh, like the big one. I mean, every yeah. down all the little details are uh, there. Okay, here's the other thing about it. Uh, so when when I was asked asked to do it, you know, he said, uh, um, we "Hell need to, to the yeah." I said, "Well, I said, of course." But I I my concern was is that since it's going to be shrank smaller, like the label, you're going to lose a lot because the label's only like 
an inch and a half by like three inches, I think, yeah. on the front. It's tiny. So I'm like, well, you can't go crazy with the detail because it's going to be shrank so small, you're not going to be able to see it. But the, the printing is, it's pretty really amazing tight. i mean yeah. you can see like like on the back especially there's like some smaller text and stuff but you can read it i can read yeah. it fine i mean it's not it's not an issue and i was like i don't i don't know how this is gonna work the only one that is a little bit hard to read is the official as i say nerdendo yeah, yeah that's the is. only part that's a little bit hard but to so read but i could still see it yeah, yeah. you read it so and yeah it works it looks great it looks fantastic the, so well, anyways, the version that I did, I chose to pick the nose a lot. Um, chose to pick you as pick, the. You uh, you chose nose? to pick as the nose a lot. I I picked my nose a lot a lot. lot. That's, that's why I named. That's that's where I was. That's all I wanted to say. No. So it's the nose. <laughs> it's the official uh, nose a lot video game. It is. So the nose a lot is the subject matter. So it's for these guys, and on the front is um, Francis flying, and I kind of took that classic um, Nintendo cartridge. Composition yeah. and just adjusted it. I want a whole stack of these. I'm gonna take the hands and feet off and just stack them with cartridges cool. up oh, like that. Yeah. That'd be cool. I need a bunch of these. Well, I know where my money's going at Comic Con. Squid Kids. <laughs> Squid Inc. Kids. Inc. And they're they're ten <laughs> they're ten bucks each. Ten does or ten bucks each. Ten does. Uh, Did he do that on purpose? <laughs> that's kind of cool, right? That is, and that's we a good price for him. blind box. That's fine. That's it's fine, and this is big. I mean, this is totally worth ten bucks. Yeah. Well, congratulations on that. Thanks. Thanks for bringing it over. Thanks for debuting it. It's not really debut. Well, I mean, don't put it online until after this goes well, up. Well, I, I um, <laughs> actually Jesse Hernandez is in the series too, and uh, he posted his today on Instagram. Oh, okay. And I was like, hey, wait a minute. Like, I didn't get the thumbs up, and then I. Because I saw that, I'm like, hey, uh, I emailed Nate, and I'm like, is it cool to, you know, start pimping this? And he's like, yeah, go ahead. So, cool. it just happened to work out. I was coming here tonight, and bam. Perfect. Well, thank you for bringing me that. You're welcome. Thank you for being on Toy Break, as always. Ouch. Hit you with your own product. Those horns are sharp. <laughs> it's an accidental retro show. We got Nintendo cartridges, E.T., Muppets, Star Muppets. Wars. Didn't mean it's for that not to a happen. 3D retro. Show. It's an accidental retro not show. A, not accidental. a 3D retro. That's their new store. Stickers from 2006. <laughs> um, Domos from the 80s. Domos. That from is from the 80s. That's totally from the it's 80s. It's either the 80s or the 50s. <laughs> yes, definitely. All right, well, that's it for episode 216 of Toy Break. Don't forget, you can save money with Toy Break coupons online at a variety of places. You can check out all the details in the show notes at toybreak.com, where you can also get details and links to everything we've talked about. You can uh, view past episodes. You can join the contests and the discussions in the forum, rousing, titillating Whoa. discussions in the forum. What? No words. No, I'm just willing. Family show. <laughs> Word a day, people. Word a day. Uh, don't you can also download goodies on our goodies page, like uh, Paper Toys of Us, three different versions by yeah. Alexander Gwynn, Zakane, and Castleford. Mm-hmm. Hey guys, Scott needs a paper. But toy. can I show you something cool? Butt can. Right there. <laughs> oh, that's I right. I got the butt can. <laughs> that's right, and it's not a sticker. It does not come <laughs> off. <laughs> that means you're official. That's why we don't usually talk to you about our I'm, stuff. I'm you're still unofficially official. Or have I passed the unofficially official? You're I think you're officially official. Okay. Have you been right. on more official. than five episodes? Has oh, yeah. Been more than five? Oh, yeah. Okay. You can get your own water from now on. That's how it goes. <laughs> you're no longer a guest. As long as you got a booger in it. Oh. <laughs> oh. Call us and leave us a voicemail. 818 <laughs> Am I Good? Um, email us info at toybreak.com all that stuff keep up with us on facebook at facebook.com slash toybreak True. you can watch briefs and full episodes on youtube at youtube.com slash toybreak you can follow us on twitter I'm at Eileen Gaspar or on instagram just find me at George Gaspar um, on twitter I'm at Mr. Scott Tollison and on the instagram <laughs> what am I on instagram? I don't know I'm just Scott Tollison are you just Scott Tollison? I think so or is it still Mr. Scott Tollison? Look up both. You'll yeah. find them. You can find it's it. One or it's the easy. Other. It's so easy. But Instagram is the way to go. And now, here's your toy break. <laughs>